Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy TATS here. What's shaking? Hey guys, if you uh, haven't heard, um, my phone actually got stuck in a boot loop, my main device, and I lost about, I don't know, about 600, something like that, photos. I lost about two, three, 200 apps with game progress. I lost so much pictures and memories I had from about two years ago, and even like longer than that. I lost all my videos, my outros, my intros, and I lost how I everything and I have my iPhone 5C and I did a lot on that before so I have like a lot of my apps and a lot of my uh, pictures and videos so I'm going to do that with this phone I'm going to you know I'm thinking I'll still continue to make videos with this phone so I last day was pretty rough I went to bed couldn't fall asleep until like 4.30 got up at 9.30 so you do the math it's barely even five hours but I did a video on the new Meridian and the Goblin jailbreak yesterday, and that actually got me 353 views in 16 hours. That's amazing, guys. I just want to thank you for that. I don't know how that's even possible. I mean, it's not that much, but for me, recently, it's a lot of views. So that makes me want to do YouTube, and it makes me be proud of myself. That makes me want to continue YouTube. But I want to thank you guys so much for support. And I also want to say that um, there's also a video, my most viewed video. Which has a whopping 534,000 views. Which is still continuing to grow. Also, I do want to thank everyone because for the support. Because I'm almost at 8,000 subscribers. And that's a huge milestone for me. So thank you all so much for that. I worked really hard with YouTube. And it shows me that determination don't, not to give up. It goes well because, you know, you eventually succeed to your limit. Like, you eventually go to where you want to be at. And... You know, 8,000 subscribers is amazing. I never thought in, like, a 1,000 years I would get that far. I know a lot of you, it's not that much, but for me, it's a huge milestone. 10,000 would be a huge milestone, which I think a lot of people who are famous take for granted. It's For me, it's amazing. I want to thank you all again for all that support. Also, guys, I want to say that a YouTuber named Dark Light um, Clash Royale, he actually was number one in awards for Clash Royale. And why I'm bringing this random Clash Royale person up is because he actually commented on my channel on that video that had 354 what I views 16 hours ago about the Meridian and the Goblin Jailbreak. He commented and said, good job, nice, something like that, like a nice comment. And that makes me really happy because he has 54,000 subscribers. He was number one in Clash Royale. Like right now he's like 194th, but they always go up and down on Clash Royale. But that right there inspired me because it's like someone really big and popular and someone who's number was number one in Clash Royale comment on my channel and that makes me feel like I'm actually getting someone on YouTube. So that's another reason why I'm going to continue doing YouTube. I lastly want to talk about a video I made yet last night about the, the reboot on my jailbroken iPhone SE. I want to apologize for anyone who I reacted to. Uh, I mean, it's a tragic thing because I know people on that phone had so much memories and like my whole lot of my life on there basically. And, you know, that, that's something to be sad about and upset about. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure if that happened to anybody who spent so much time on their phone, especially when I'm trying to, like, I download over 300 sound effects. And, like I said, I had, like, 600 photos, two, over 200 apps, over 100 videos, over, like, for my outros, intros, for about 25 videos I edited the intros for, which take, like, at least 20 minutes every intro around there. I mean, that's, that's a lot of time and effort I put into the phone and something that sucks disappointed about but i realized thinking in my bed for a couple hours because i could go to sleep and you know i blame yourself anyway that it's not worth it to give up i like doing youtube and youtube is something that i enjoy doing i don't think that just because my phone decides to screw me over i still have another phone i still look at that as another chance chance to redeem myself and do youtube so i'll continue doing youtube Whether I get support, don't get support, or whatever happens, I love doing YouTube. I mean, I might not make that much money or get with everyone who supports me. Everyone who watches my videos, it means a lot. My family, everyone who supported me with YouTube my whole journey for five years. It's been a long run, and I'm happy. I want to continue doing it. So, one more thank you from everyone. Appreciate it. My head is killing me. I had a headache, and then I had like four hours, no, I had like the five hours of sleep. I woke up with my headache again. I guess I didn't sleep long enough for my... Get to get rid of my headache. Just sleeping for five hours is not really good for your whole body. <laughs> Even though I get screwed over every single time when it comes to a jailbreak, I'm so happy. Five months of waiting, and then I get 
this happens again. It sucks, but it made me realize that I have a passion for YouTube. Like a lot of other people who probably would have gave up. Like I'm not gonna give. This actually makes me stronger. It makes me work with less than I have. It makes me, you know, get back to where I was. And in the long run, it makes me feel like I accomplished a lot more than a lot of other people or YouTubers. So I guess this could be a good thing. I mean, you know, it stuff happens. Always some seems happen to me, but shit happens. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. If you guys took anything from this video, take that not to ever give up. I mean, you see what happened to me, and I don't. Some of you probably be like, how can you even keep doing YouTube? You know, I took like a nine-hour break back already. I mean, you, just, you got determination. You got to be inspired to do something that you enjoy doing. And when stuff gets hard, that doesn't mean you should give up. I mean, you should you should try even more and then fight through it. And in the end, you'll see that it was really worth it. you see that you'll be proud of yourself for what you've done. And I know other people get stuff handed to them and that they don't have to fight as hard as you do. But that doesn't mean you should give up. Keep going for it. You know what I mean? Some people have to work harder than other people. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.